Guess who's ready to press play? Were you guys having a party without me? Ah, off on a quick trip to the west coast to see my pal Kate. She's a Hawkeye too. It's complicated. We're both archers. I'm the better one, but she's better at plenty of other stuff. Like life in general. Well, it's not whether or not the world needs more than one Hawkeye. It's whether or not the world can handle more than one. And from what most of the Avengers tell me, this guy is already more than enough. You know, I'm not so sure they meant that as a compliment. <laughs> that wasn't nearly as hard as I made it look. I swear. Well, he's not showing any signs of activity, and I'm not getting any energy readings. So, yeah. I think so. Whatever I did, it worked. And I'm sure you guys all helped, too. I'll probably have to haul the big guy back to a shield hanger for dismantling. We definitely can't risk putting him in an unsecure location again. Seriously, Tony, who stores a giant killer robot in a warehouse in New Jersey? Um, couldn't you have asked me that, like, 20 punches ago? I mean, really! That totally would have made everything so much easier! Hey, I've got two! Might as well use them to do something good now and then. That probably could have gone better. In theory. But Ultron wouldn't have even had access to Ultimo if I had disposed of the big guy properly the last time we fought. Instead, I chose science over safety. Again. I'm monitoring feeds from the first responders as we speak. They're getting things under control down there. I suggest we do the same up here first. I hope Tony has lots of insurance. <laughs> it sure did. But it's still standing, just like the heroes that call it home. We Avengers have been through plenty worse over the years. Hard to say. I mean, is he ever, really? As long as a trace of his code still exists on a tablet in some lab somewhere, he can always find his way back. But don't sweat. That'll take him at least an hour or two. I imagine you have some questions regarding the outcome of this battle. It was no easy task, but I managed to isolate Ultron's code and redirect it into the Mind Stone itself. That action wiped out any other external traces of his programming. Thus, all of his physical forms were simultaneously deactivated. The stone has its own natural defenses. Not unlike the security on a sophisticated computer. Any thought patterns, real or artificial, contained within it can only be accessed by external sources. For all intents and purposes, Ultron is now a prisoner of the Mind Stone. Perhaps, but only if they knew exactly where in the stone that his digital consciousness was stored. I made sure to bury that information quite deep. The chances of his recovery are slim. Your thanks may not be warranted quite yet.
Three stones recovered, three more to go. I can whip up a containment solution for the stones we have, while you search for any traces of... Your quest may have to be temporarily put on hold. You saw what just happened here. What could be more important than preventing another attack like this? There will be another attack to prevent, far sooner than anticipated. It seems that Ultron's search for a suitable host body activated more than just Ultima. I thought you said that Ultron couldn't control any more machines from inside the stone. He cannot. But once activated, some programming cannot be stopped until its prime directive is achieved. Prime directive? What prime? Targets Sentinels. And I know just where they're headed. X marks the spot. Destroy all mutants. Not today, Tovarish. Comrade, heads up! Uh, and eyes wide open! Save some for us, my friend. Why should you always get to have all the fun? Yeah. <laughs> 
No time for idle chatter. Sentinels run on a dedicated network. Once a single unit identifies a mutant target, it alerts all others in the area. Almost certainly. And based on my experience, they should be arriving any moment now. Colossus and I will stay here to make sure the front of the school stays secure. Do me a favor. Don't tell him that. Ever. You look troubled. Nor I. But as a mutant, it is mine to fight, whether I choose it or not. For now, I must hold the line and protect our home while you attend to other matters. But once this threat has been vanquished, the X-Men shall stand with you. And together, we shall crush all the others into scrap. Fancy finding you here. When evil rises, the X-Men respond, as do you, it seems. Many thanks for that. Off on a recovery mission, acquiring an object of great power from some mutants with far less noble aspirations. If what I'm reading from your thoughts is true, I believe you may already know. Agreed. Let's rendezvous with the beast at once. That shrekless roboter. Always leaving behind such a mess. Yeah, more times than I can count. They were built by those who wished to see us dead. And they won't stop until that mission is complete. Sadly, far more people than you might imagine. A uh, shame that so many judge us on our appearances and abilities instead of our actions, isn't it? But when you look like me, you get used to being hated and feared. Well, then prepare yourself for the greatest show on Earth. 